Hello everyone, Ori here and welcome back to the first FIFA 20 video uh, for this FIFA year. Uh, to, uh, in this video, uh, I would like to show you the best uh, camera settings and uh, the best controller settings in my opinion. Uh, so let's go um, at the, the camera settings. Uh, I always kept uh, tele broadcast and uh, camera settings is going to be to custom uh, camera height is going to be 20 and the uh, camera zoom is going to be zero uh, now this uh, custom camera uh, will help you uh, view the pitch better uh, try to hold ball possession and at the same time uh, to attack uh, with uh, to attack easily and uh, because uh, you will have uh, better controls of, of the pitch and uh, of your players now uh, going to to the controls uh, as we know EA has added uh, some new features this year uh, we're gonna go one by one and uh, so let's start uh, FIFA trainer as we know it's going to be hide and uh, time finishing uh, it was from uh, FIFA 19 uh, as I can say uh, from the demos, uh, the shots are just uh, incredible uh, and uh, with time finishing they're gonna be more overpowered uh, so uh, whoever can use the time finish perfectly just have to keep this on uh, because uh, it's gonna be big even this year. Now going to the second defender switch icon, uh, I will leave it uh, on because you just need that uh, second hour or to uh, to the, the the closest player uh, uh, to uh, to 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 get that uh, direction. Uh, whenever you press L1 or your your right stick, uh, which player you will control, uh, and uh, this will help you switch players fast and right, and uh, you can defend uh, better like this. Now going to pass block assistance, uh, I always. Uh, since last FIFA I left it on I'm gonna leave it on even this year you just need the A to do that uh, that extra block that uh, for you that extra interception so you have to leave it on now going to auto switching uh, I always kept it to air balls now this year uh, EA has added loose balls as, as well uh, I don't ever uh, kept it at auto uh, because uh, you just want uh, to do the, the the switching almost to manual because if you keep it out oh yeah you're just uh, gonna switch to whichever player they want and uh, you just won't be able to defend properly uh, out of switching move assistance I always kept it non uh, I always like to do everything myself uh, when it comes to switching now uh, going to jockey uh, this is a new feature that uh, they added this year uh, I will leave it to assist that uh, because uh, uh, EA will help you to, to keep your, your player uh, uh, closely uh, to your opponent player but you have to give the, the directional guide to itself uh, whenever you leave it to manual you have to do everything your own here so I will go with the, with the default option and get that, uh, that extra help uh, uh, from the EA and uh, uh, going to the right stick switching uh, this is a new feature as well now uh, I will go with uh, player relative here uh, you have two options player relative and ball relative I will go with uh, player relative uh, because you just want that uh, Whatever you press that right stick to the right or to the left, uh, you just uh, want to 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 control uh, the player uh, which you think is closer to to the other player that you are controlling. So in this way, uh, you will defend better and uh, try not to leave uh, a lot of gaps uh, whenever you're defending. But uh, if you go to to ball relative, uh, for example, it's going to be a long cross and. Uh, you will press your right stick uh, it will automatically uh, select the player uh, which is closer to the ball uh, depend on situations it, this can be optional but uh, I will go with player relative uh, and uh, try to try to to create that zonal defending myself now going to pass assistance through ball and short assistance i always kept it at assisted uh, just uh, don't mess too much with them going at cross i always kept it semi i want ea to give uh, the, the 
the directional to the cross and I uh, just to, to time the power going to lap pass assistance I always uh, went manual here I cannot say uh, the perfect uh, difference between them but uh, I just like to keep uh, to give the directional and power to the lap passes myself going to save assistance I always went assisted never messed uh, with this option going to analog sprint uh, I always kept it on I will keep it on this year too um, because whenever you can get that uh, that extra possibility uh, to make that uh, that that run uh, wherever you're open I'm gonna take it and uh, to defending uh, as we know uh, online is only allowed tactical defending uh, so if you're new to FIFA uh, you just have to adjust uh, to this uh, defending and do almost everything yourself and we're going to pass receiver lock uh, this is a new feature uh, yeah, this is going to to be tested uh, online or with different FIFA patches uh, that will come but this mostly will depend uh, uh, to whatever you are a, a, a ball possession player or you're just gonna have to play uh, super fast uh, this has to do with uh, whatever you pass the ball the receiver uh, will will wait uh, for the ball as, as late as possible as you can or act just uh, super early uh, depends uh, I normally my, my play style is balanced I try to keep ball possession whatever I have the possibility but try to to play on the counter attack too and to play fast sometimes but mostly I would prefer to leave it uh, late as the default option is as, and uh, maybe maybe later uh, depending on the um, on the patches that will come uh, on uh, which formations would be the best uh, uh, maybe we can switch to too early but for the moment I'm gonna leave it late uh, so there you have it uh, it was it was a short video uh, explaining mostly the the controller settings and uh, which camera I use uh, feel free to leave any comment down below and uh, thank you again uh, for watching and I see you in another FIFA 20 video bye